The mushroom industry has recently been revived as more people are becoming aware of the benefits of consuming mushroom. This week, we focus our lens on mushroom farming in Ghana. We are in the greater Accra region, specifically East Legon, to have a conversation with the CEO of E90 Ghana Limited, Fafafa Fui, to better understand what it is to be in this line of farming. Welcome to the show. My name is Enyun. I'm joined the conversation on all our social media platform, The Ghanaian Farmer. If you missed this program on Joy Prime every Monday, 2.30, make sure to watch on our YouTube channel, The Ghanaian Farmer. Many thanks to our prior partner, Nafco. I'm going for a quick breather. When I come back, the conversation begins. <music> Thanks for staying with us. This is Ghanaian Farmer, in case you just tuned in. My name is Enyunam, and standing next to me as the queen of mushroom. Papa, pa, hi. How have you been? I'm oh, doing very well. I see. You're looking awful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. So let's begin with your general thought about the mushroom industry in Ghana. What do you make of it? Thank you very much. Uh, the mushroom industry is a very uh, a growing industry. It has a lot of potentials, such as helping us to have a clean environment because we are using the sawdust, which creates a lot of pollution in the environment. We use that as our substrate. Okay. And also, it has a potential of employing a lot more people, hereby you know, reducing unemployment in Ghana. It's been five years since you started mushroom farming, right? Yes. How do you come by the basic elements or the things that you need to grow or produce a mushroom? Thank you very much. Uh, for the mushroom production, uh, it's a little technical. So you have to acquire the knowledge of uh, producing it. So I have to go to the food research to learn about producing mushroom and also get some literature online about it. So that is how it all started. Mm. It started from uh, getting to know about the process, what and what you need. And that's where I discovered that indeed what I need to use to produce mushrooms is, is right in abundance with us. And within Ghana? That, within Ghana. Okay, okay. Which type of mushroom best grows in Ghana? On commercial basis, so far, is the oyster mushroom. Oyster mushroom. Oyster mushroom. Apart from the local ones that we have seasonally, is the oyster that most farmers are going into now. Take me through the process of growing a mushroom. Okay. So for the production of oyster mushroom, first, you need to put your raw materials together. So the raw materials, for me, uh, I use the sawdust, the rice bran, and also quicklime. But for some other people that are into rice farming and all that, you can equally use the rice straw. It's also another way of doing mushrooms. So there are varieties of substrate that you can use. But when it comes to uh, my understanding of the environment and how the soil that is causing a lot of pollution and they are burning it all the time, producing carbon monoxide, I chose the soil that because I want to you know, be a friend to the environment. Mm, I see. Now, does mushroom go all year round or it has seasonal crop? That is one benefit of producing oyster mushroom. It's an all year round uh, um, product. Uh, you can farm it anytime, getting the right uh, temperature for the cropping room. You can produce all year round. And also, um, looking at the seasons, even though sometimes the heat uh, the dry season gives us some tough time when it comes to uh, the production, but still, it's something that you can produce all year round. Nice. We love fish and our meat. Ever since you started, what have been some of the major things you have to do to convince people enjoying mushroom? I mean, selling it to people. How do you go about that? Thank you. So, I sell value. I sell the value, not the mushroom, but I sell the value of the mushroom to you because we know that uh, for Ghana, we love our meat, we love our fish, but the mushroom contains a lot other protein, fiber, and vitamins that are good for the mind, the body, and the skin. 
everything, your eyes. So it's something that when I'm, I, I tell you, it's a superfood that you need to enjoy for the good of yourself and even for the whole family. Mm. You know, your kids will have, you know, the best brain to, to, to function so, so very well sure in the school. So you make sure why Exactly. So I sell value. Mm. Mm. I sell to you value. Now let's look at your clientele base. Who are the kind of people who buy your mushroom? Interestingly, people will say that, oh, it's the vegetarian, but now it cuts across a whole lot of people. People that have diabetes, hypertension, cancer patients, uh, because of the selenium in, in mushroom, is very good for can cancer patients. And also the vegetarians and the vegans, of course, is one of their number one, you know, food. So it cuts across mm. all of them. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the stages that mushroom goes through, before it is finally harvested and sold. Can you take me through the stages? Okay, so we have five main uh, stages that it has to go through. And all the stages are very important. You have to first, the compost, we call it the composting stage, where you gather the sawdust and all that. Then you now bag them into smaller, you know, polythenes for sterilization. Uh, so I see some over there. Exactly. Right. So the test stage is you have to sterilize the bags in order to remove uh, impurities or microorganisms that may be very harmful to the mycelium or on the bags. So after sterilization, you have to spawn the bag that is where you add the seed and then you incubate for six weeks and from there you start harvesting. I the see. Mushrooms. Interesting. <laughs> I see. So, um, when it is harvested, how long can you preserve mushroom for before you say, I think you, you have to? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a highly perishable product. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with, within five days, you should uh, discard or finish using it to, to have that fresh, mm -hmm. you know, feel of the mushroom. Mm -hmm. So, we, are, we normally advise that when you get your mushroom, try and, uh, you know, uh, refrigerate it mm. for for the number of days that you you have to use it so that it will not change color and all that mm. it's very important to keep it fresh okay you know? in, in that case has there been any time within this five-year journey that you have faced uh do i say post harvest loss have you ever encountered that sure sure there are times that you have people promise to get uh, tell you that we want this number of uh kilos mm -hmm. and then uh, um, it, they don't show up. They don't show up, okay. and you have to, you know, because of its perishable nature, they, you have to lose the harvest. Mm. And sometimes we don't have the right technical know-how to, you know, uh, transform them into Something other else. As, uh, mm. other varieties mm. or mm. products. So it has been a challenge to us mm. post harvest losses. So, but, but coming to how to, you know, uh, turn it around into something else. What, what is your association or you as an individual, what are you doing to learn more about what else you can make with mushroom apart from keeping it in your fridge for the next five days or apart from harvesting and the client doesn't show up? What are you doing in that line to see how you can process mushroom into something else? I think that is uh, one part where I gained the name of the Mushroom Queen. We produce a very innovative product out of the mushroom, which is the mushroom kebab. It's a state of the art product mm -hmm. that where you take one stick, you ask for another one. So there are other things that we are doing out of mushroom. We have the mushroom bread, we have the meat pie, we have the biscuit. So a whole lot of things are coming out of fresh mushrooms and it, it's been good. Okay, now let me understand. I realize that you have a lot of wooden structures with mats. Why or what relevance is this to a mushroom company or a mushroom growing firm? Thank you. For oyster mushrooms to do very well, you need a certain range of temperature from 20 degrees to 30 degrees and we have a very hot temperature in Ghana so we use the mats and then the wood to control the temperature to in order to have a, a good yield mm -hmm. so that is very important when you are entering into you know oyster mushroom farming you must uh, make sure that your cropping house has that that range of temperature in there and then a humidity from 50 mm -hmm. to 70 Percent okay. you need to achieve that in okay. order to have a it very a good very yield. Cool exactly. Okay. Now let's talk about the health benefits 
of mushroom. Mm. I am not too much of a fan. I remember uh, <laughs> one time somebody prepared, uh, you know, ebunu ebunu mm -hmm. with my husband. Oh, oh. lovely. <laughs> but you know what? Let me go for this break. When I come back, you will touch on the health benefit okay. of mushroom. Viewers, coming up is 60 seconds on a Greek. It highlights on what is happening, what is trending within the agricultural sector. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Gone by was 60 seconds. Thank you. For stay tuned, I believe you've learned a thing or two on what is happening within the agricultural sector. Havapa, so tell us, what are some of the health benefits of consuming mushrooms? mushrooms? I call it the superfood because it contains a lot of protein, fiber, and also a powerful antioxidant called selenium. It is fat-free, cholesterol-free, and gluten-free. So people with allergies can conveniently, you know, be on mushrooms. And it helps to boost the immune system all the time. Mm -hmm. So it repair and renew the tissues in the body. Wow. So that is what I said earlier, mm -hmm. that I preach the value to you. Mm -hmm. And you yourself, you, you will get it on your plate without even knowing. Ah, <laughs> I see. <laughs> Papa has some sweet talk that, you know, my goodness. Your last message, we are wrapping up the interview other young entrepreneurs who are watching you. I'm sure after this interview, I get messages from people that, and you know, I want to go into mushroom farming. What would be your message to stakeholders within the agric space and of course people who are aspiring to go into mushroom farming? Yes, mm. I would say that it's a very profitable business. Mm -hmm. uh, when you take some key things into consideration, hygiene of the place, the environment, the temperature, and then you have to employ the best marketing tools. When you have these things, the sky will be your limit and you, you also earn a lot out mm. of it and mm. help to employ more people mm. and to take uh, the burden out of, from the government. If I let her, she will keep talking and talking and talking. <laughs> Fafafa Fui, she's the CEO of E90 Ghana. Coming up is my most favorite part mm. on the show. What can we make with this? Is it the mushroom kebab or the one you can prepare with ebunu ebunu? <laughs> with fufu or what else can we prepare with mushroom your favorite celebrity would be next to me and i'll put him or her to test to cook my name is enyana thanks for joining us if you missed the episode go and watch on our youtube channel join the conversation tag me with what you manage to cook with your mushroom until then it's the next week bye for now That was a beautiful conversation I just had with the queen of mushroom, Fafafa Fui, the CEO of E90 Ghana. When it comes to mushroom farming in Ghana, she is on top of her affairs. That sector, Fafafa is the person I can recommend that you should go to her for training and she would get you grounded. My name is Enyunam. This is Ghanaian Farmer. Join in the conversation on our social media handles, Ghanaian Farmer. If you missed this episode, make sure to watch on YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. Subscribe so that every other episode we upload, you will get the alert. Remember, I keep telling you 
while I was in the farm that I'll be coming to the kitchen to make something healthy and delicious, especially with mushroom. I've heard of a lot of interesting health benefits of mushroom. And trust me, you would not want to miss this episode. My personality, he's a TV personality. He's a radio personality. He is the host of Red Carpet and Showbiz Now on Joy Prime. He's in the person of Ivy. Mm. What's yeah, up? I'm good. I'm great. I'm great. Thank so you very you much. So you told me you're going to make something green, green yeah, with something, your mushroom. Yeah, okay. something, something very mm. green, something very healthy. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that you're telling them about the health benefits of mushrooms. Yes, it has a lot of health benefits. Mm -hmm. And I am super, super glad. Mm -hmm. And that is what I'm coming to cook. And right. you know, if with mushrooms, mm -hmm. you when you're cooking, you have to be very particular about the time you leave it on fire okay. and all that. Other than that, you will get all the... I mean, you cook out all the nutrition, right. all the nutrients. So all it doesn't the have to last too long on no, fire. No, okay. not too long okay. on fire. And I'm going to be showing that right, right here on this show. Okay. Mm. Okay. Interesting. So your uh, spring onions, yes. green pepper, all my vegetables. They are all here. Yeah, they so are all here. So you promised me that uh, mm. if I can only give you a blender, you yes, put yes, all of this yes, together, yes. right? All, so that's don't all worry. I, need. I have my blender right here. Okay. I'll make sure I give you because. I love food, so when it's time like this... Yeah, I can tell, I know. I'm super excited, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. No, I, I, know, I, know you, I know you like your food uh -huh. in a certain way, and you know. I am going to give you that certain Thank way you. today in your kitchen. Thank you. In this kitchen. So make mm -hmm. sure you're mm -hmm. washing your vegetables, you're yeah. cleaning them. All of this is all of well them. washed good, good, and chopped into good. smaller pieces. Yep. So. I think, um, mm -hmm. first off, let's get... Let's get the pepper first. Yep. Okay, so viewers, make sure you get your pen and paper mm -hmm. and jot down the steps we are following in preparing our mushroom sauce with rice. Mm -hmm. Yes, the rice mm. is right here. Yep. Staring in my face. So, Ivy, tell me about your journey in the media landscape. How did it happen for you? Um, how did it even happen? I think it happened after I stopped playing active soccer. You were a soccer? Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to play a first divisional team all the way back in Takwadi. We had a terrible accident, and guess what? It was right in front of the station I started applying my media trade in. Whoa. Yeah, Sky Power FM. That was in 2002, and okay. then in 2003, uh -huh. the television came. And okay. I, I didn't start off as a presenter, no. Okay. For my love was radio, it wasn't right. actually TV. Okay. So on Sky Power in 2002, okay. I was on radio, I was doing late night radio. Okay. Yeah. Uh, more love songs. I mean, I, I love, I like, I love music and smooth. And I'm old school by ass when it comes to music. So I, I was, see. Yeah, yeah, I was playing late night radio uh -huh. from ten. No, it was if it was it even started from twelve. Oh, okay. So twelve midnight, I'll go and sit on radio and then play some few love songs like that. I see. Yeah. I see. And less talk, more music. So people started liking and, it. And in which year are we talking about? Oh, uh, this was in twenty uh, two thousand and two. Okay. This was in 2002. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then the TV came in 2003. Right. I I, I like sound a lot. All right. Yeah. I was I was because of my cousin, my big Will cousin, you know, Jamba. Yeah. Just okay. a little bit. That's fine. Just a, and you should always also mm -hmm. take into consideration the mm -hmm. mushrooms you are cooking and the vegetables you are. Okay. Blending. You said. Yes. Okay. You All should right. take so into consideration and make sure that it I is. I guess we'll add a little bit of water. Just a little bit. Yes. Is not that too okay? much. Uh, okay. Yes. This should be okay. This is fine. Eh? This should be okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This should be okay. 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 So viewers. We are going to blend our vegetables now, mm -hmm. and that will make a little noise. So you know what? Just relax for me. <laughs> if you just tune in, you are watching Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyunam, and my on-air personality today in my kitchen is I.B., and he is the host of Red Carpet and Showbiz Now on Joy Prime. I'll be right back after this breather. Stay tuned. We are done blending vegetables. So Ivy, yep. uh, what are you doing next? Okay, so next thing I'll need the chopping board behind you. I have okay. my knife here. I need to just chop the onions okay. and start putting them on fire. Right. Yep. So you have your chopping board here. Yes, and I have my saucepan here. Right. So what we have to do mm -hmm. is chop the onion and the little bit. You see, when it comes to the spices, uh -huh. I like it very natural. Okay. That is why I had ginger and garlic here. Mm -hmm. And I have 
This one we call it wintia. Mm, uh -huh. We'll put it in the oil. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's fine. Okay, I like the so, way you know your stuff. I'm uh, sure yeah. you'll be going to the kitchen most often. I know. See, growing <laughs> up, I was a stubborn boy. Okay. So the only way my mom kept me away from fight uh -huh. is when all the boys are outside playing and all that. They would tell me, Ibrahim, hey, Ibrahim. <laughs> so I will have to sit with her in the <laughs> kitchen and make sure, that, and she'll make sure that I come back with no fight. I won't even go anywhere, let alone coming back with fight. Whoa. So that is how I got my kitchen tuition. Mommy did well. Yeah. I will suffer when I marry you. Nah, uh, you will suffer a little bit because I was very stubborn. <laughs> oh, I was really? super, super, super stubborn. I I'll lie to you. Okay. So you so just need to brace put, yourself. Let me help you put your fire or, on now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or probably you will take tidbit from my mom. Really? Yeah. yeah on how to handle you. Yes. Eh? I see. Because that woman did well. I see. Uh, I see. Yeah, but at least now this is. I mean, if she didn't handle me, handle me mm -hmm. well, you wouldn't have gotten me in your kitchen. Know. You know. I know. Okay, I know. so she, you should also be, I mean, conscious of the, the, oil. the, the amount of oil okay. you, yes, you use. You not to too use much oil. Not too much. Yes, not too not much too oil. Much. I, don't, I don't like too much okay. oil. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So, so, right, you were telling me the story of your TV. Yes, yes, yes. So, know, from radio, then, then you went on TV. Yes. Mm. So, the TV came up in 2003 okay. by the same person, Will Snatha, the boss player. Okay. Yeah. So when the TV came, I was like, okay, he was like, okay, so we are a sound technician, so go ahead and head the sound department oh, as well. Right. So that's how I started. Okay. So how I ended up on air, I'm sure mm. that is the interesting part you want to I know. I see. Right? <laughs> I was the head of sound. Mm. Uh, it wasn't, I wasn't really top, 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 top. So okay. they had to bring someone near right. me okay. who came to be my boss and okay. I was, yeah, I, I was just learning from You're going to, you, yes, you were yes. going to add it to yes, the oil, yes, right? Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. Okay. To give it that. Some flavor. Yes, that I flavor. See. Okay, that's fine. Good. Mm -hmm. Right, so how long did you stay in Takradi working before uh, you moved to Accra? I came to Accra in 2009 on the ticket of Net2 TV. Okay. Yes. They had the software the, um, that they were using in their master control, but they needed someone who was very much abreast with it to come and teach them. Okay. So they called me, they contacted me, and that is what actually brought me to Accra. Right. 2009. Okay. At Net2 TV. Mm. And so I came and then I taught them how to use their software and then I stayed. But I was there and I got to know that there was nothing entertainment on TV. So I wrote a program. Okay. Yes. And when I presented the program to the program department, they liked it and I was supposed to host it. It was called a 411. Okay. Yes. And that is how I also landed on TV in Accra. Okay. And again, I was on radio at Oman FM, there was this love program called Pure Honey Drops. Mm. Yeah, also late night, talk about relationships and all that, and then I also got into that. Yeah. I so, see. that is uh, my journey. But okay. the, what And how long did you stay with, with Net2 Netu before moving to multimedia? Um, I stayed, I was with Net2 till 2012, okay. from 2009 to 2012. Right. So then yeah. I had a break, 2012 I left. I went into construction. I was managing a construction company. I see. Because I thought I thought I wanted to leave the media. But I told my boss uh -huh. that Charlie, the way the things are going, I just can't leave my passion. I will still follow my passion. So when I get a media job, I will leave and go. Okay. And he told me that, oh, can't I do both concurrently? Right. Like because he likes the way I'm handling the okay. whole company mm. and he wouldn't want me to leave. So in twenty fourteen I got multimedia and I told him. So he told me that, okay, let's work. Let's, I, if I can do both, I should mm. stay and do both. Mm. Uh, so, I, so I was like, okay, fine, I can do both. So I was managing the construction firm. At the same time, I was on TV and multimedia. That was when the Red Carpet Show actually started. But it got to a point, I think it is difficult to let your passion slip through your fingers. So I told my boss, Charlie, yes, You want to focus your attention yes, fully on the, media. on the media. How many years roughly put together from Takradi to Natu? To multimedia. So 20, 2002 uh -huh. to, 20, to 2020 now. 2020 now. So eight years? I can, no, it's been 18. 18? 18 years. Whoa, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. 18 yeah, yeah. years. Whoa. Do yeah. I call you a legend in the media? No, space? I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> I will get there. Any awards so far? Oh, within yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, okay. yes. The awards started coming when I, when I joined multimedia, okay. actually. Right. So the first awards. Mm -hmm was within eight months of me starting Red Carpet Show, okay. Ghana Television Awards. Okay. Yeah, for, so twice on a row, I won the best entertainment show, okay. the most popular entertainment show concurrently, mm. two years continuous. Mm. And I've also picked up an award from 
is it yeah, camp student student based uh, awards and then also the tertiary awards. Okay. Yes. Okay. So for congratulations on that. Now right. what I want uh -huh. to do now is just start chopping my mushrooms. Okay. Yes. Uh, you know, we don't leave it mm. this big. Mm -hmm. At least you, you need to make it. Cut it into a little bit smaller pieces. Yes, yeah, so okay. you make it very interesting and appetizing. Okay. So the big ones, mm -hmm. you just, I mean, you can just cut, it. cut them like this. Okay. Right. So right mm. now we are chopping our mushroom into smaller yes. pieces so that we can add it to the stew now. And definitely mm. our rice should will uh, also go into the water and water, start yeah. boiling. Yeah. By the time we come back from this breather, everything should be ready my table set and i'll be you know holding my spoon and my plate to taste and Just testify i wouldn't give him the credit without testing it's smelling good but it's different from tasting it. Don't Trust worry. me, I will tell you the truth. Don't worry. So just relax in the comfort of your home. This is still Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Anina. Many thanks to Navco for supporting us and Fountain Life Spices. We That's added right. some dawa dawa. It is from Fountain Life. So we will be right back. When we come back, our table should be well laid for eating. Right, so this is the part where I love the most. I'm so relaxed and I'm ready to enjoy myself. Mm -hmm. We prepared a green stew with uh, a mushroom and we added a little bit of, you know, eggs so that mm -hmm. if you're a vegetarian or if you're someone who likes to eat fish, eggs and all that, you can still, you know, enjoy yourself. And our rice is well garnished. Mm -hmm. And now um, I think I'm ready to eat. So on Ghanaian Farmer, mm -hmm. all I keep saying every day is that try this recipe in the house, okay? Mm -hmm. And tag our social media handle, uh, Ghanaian Farmer on Facebook, on IG and on LinkedIn as Ghanaian Farmer. Okay. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? Very so that important. you can yes, very, subscribe very to it. If you're a young farmer, you want us to feature you, you want us to come to your farm, go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I be is this one okay? Uh well you are going to be doing the eating, so I mean what you to mean complaining put me in my kitchen when it gets to this part. I don't like it when my guests complain. No, I'm not understand? complaining. Thank I'm just leaving much. it in Okay, your so own let me take one. Pot egg yes and then where are my mushrooms okay oh, this yeah, one the mushroom is splattered all over yes, so, yes i said i take mm. this one okay that's fine that's good. very good so let me help you also okay thank you mm. well well let me give you one egg uh so um ivy mm -hmm. since you like you like you like to use the fork so yes. you can have it so viewers this is why i say Vami dunu. Meaning, come and let's eat. Yes. Oh, okay, good. You're yeah, inviting them. Yes. Okay, vami dunu. Uh -huh. vami so, <laughs> let me... Now, you first take the mm -hmm. first bite and tell me... So, that's my mushroom say. and then the rice. Mm. Mm. My interest love, is in the mushroom. I love the mm -hmm. spices, the natural spices, the garlic, the ginger, mm -hmm. the paposito. Mm. Okay. The salt and the dawa dawa you added. Yep. Mm, this tastes really good. And the mushroom itself, you know, it feels like you're chewing meat. You very know. soft, very exactly. easy to, mm. I mean, just grind it with your teeth mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. mouth. That's real. Oh, lots up. You're a very good cook. Hallelujah. Your sister. wife will not suffer at all. Viewers, IB, <laughs> host of Red Carpet and Showbiz now on Joy Prime. IB, thank you so much for joining us. You're so welcome. We appreciate so welcome. your time. So, hey, mm -hmm. if you watch this episode, make sure you try this recipe in the house. My name is Anyuna and my handsome... <laughs> thank okay. you very much for making time with us. We'll see you next week. Make sure to join me come Friday as Farmer's Day. Happy Farmer's Day. To all farmers in Ghana, we appreciate you and we say thank you for the good work you're doing for Ghana's economy. God bless you. Bye-bye.